And in breaking news, a grand jury has indicted Hunter Biden, President Biden's son, this afternoon on federal firearms charges. Back in July, Hunter Biden entered into a plea agreement with the U.S. Justice Department, but the deal fell apart in court. Natalie Brand has the latest from Capitol Hill. President Biden's son Hunter is facing three criminal counts related to his possession of a firearm. The indictment alleges Hunter Biden knowingly made a false and fictitious written statement when he bought a weapon in 2018 and unlawfully possessed the gun as a drug user. They all relate to false statements on a federal form in which Hunter Biden purchased weapons and he said I am not using drugs when in fact he was using drugs. The charges come a little more than a month after the Justice Department appointed a special counsel in the probe. An earlier plea deal fell apart in July over questions about an unusual diversion agreement. The indictment comes as House Republicans launched a formal impeachment inquiry into President Biden centered in large part around Hunter Biden's business dealings. Do you believe the president went to Cafe Milano and had dinner with the, with the clients of Hunter Biden, who believes he got those clients because he was selling the brand? So far, no hard evidence of any wrongdoing by the president has been uncovered. House Republicans spent this morning talking about their illegitimate impeachment inquiry, which is nothing more than a partisan political stunt. The special counsel overseeing Hunter Biden's case has indicated that tax-related charges that were part of the previous plea deal could still be filed. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.